नाउ लेट अस डिस्कस अबाउट ये आरपी ये आरपी स्टैंड्स फॉर एड्रेस रिजोल्यूशन प्रोटोकॉल द नेम इटसेल्फ स्पेसिफाइज द मीनिंग इट इज मेनली यूजफुल इन ऑर्डर टू रिजोल्व द एड्रेसेस ये आरपी इज मेनली यूजफुल इन ऑर्डर टू कन्वर्ट IP address to IP address to physical address. In order to convert IP address to physical address, here IP address can also be called as logical address, whereas physical address can also be called as MAC address. or this can also be called as hardware address so let's see what is a mac address a mac address is a unique number assigned to nic of every machine we know that nic stands for network interface card so every system we have nic card so that nic card unique number is nothing but physical address so what is the use of arp it is useful to convert ip address to physical address ip address can also be called as logical address whereas physical address can also be called as mac address or hardware address so now let's see about with the help of an example so here let we have a network Uh, here let us assume that the source host is host one whereas destination host is host two so in between let we have some uh, two routers so r1 r2 likewise we have two routers uh, here uh, our target is host one wants to communicate with host two so here uh, host one wants to send a message to the host two so for that purpose host one needs ip address of the host two as well as host one must also needs physical address of host two so let's see how it will happen generally we know that a message a message will be this is nothing but our network layer a various in tcp ip network layer can also be called as internet layer okay here we know that the heart of network layer is ip so ip stands for internet protocol on top of ip we will have icmp and on bottom of ip we will have arp let it be the source host that is host one here a message will be transmitted from upper layers to down layers so before that we have what some transport layer session layer presentation layer application layer so from all those layers the message will be transmitted to network layer so this is host one okay and after that the message will be transmitted to the data link layer next message will be transmitted to the physical layer and via the network uh, the corresponding message will be transmitted to the Our destination link various layers: physical layer, data link layer, network layer, transport layer, likewise. So here the point is the message will be transmitted from network layer to data link layer. We know that in network layer the message will be represented in the form of packets. Packets can also be called as data grams. Whereas in data link layer, this is data link layer. in data link layer the message will be represented in the form of frames in the form of frames okay so here the internet protocol asks the address resolution protocol arp to find out the physical address of destination host now it is the duty of arp to prepare it will prepare arp request messages so address resolution protocol prepares arp request messages here that 
yeah, what ARP will do is uh, it will encapsulate, it will place the corresponding packet into frame. Why? Because here the packets are transmitted to frames. So what ARP will do? Uh, here uh, uh, ARP will prepare some uh, ARP request message. Uh, if this request message will contain uh, destination IP address. Uh, IP address of the first it contains IP address of the source mission as well as it contains uh, physical address. Physical address of source mission. Physical address of source mission. And it contains here the host one knows IP address of host two. So it contains uh, ARP request message also contains IP address of the destination message. But host one doesn't know about physical address of host two. So that's why it will put broadcast address here. If it places broadcast address here. So here uh, uh, it is the duty of ARP to prepare ARP request message. So in order to prepare the ARP request message, what ARP will do? It places the, this corresponding IP packet, this corresponding IP datagram into the frame. Okay. Uh, now ARP request message contains this information. So now what host one will do is host one will broadcast here the what is the last field last field is the broadcast address so broadcast we know the advantage of broadcast address okay that address will be transmitted to all the machines on the corresponding network okay so now host one will transmit arp request message to all the machines on the network so it may be routers or host okay so this message will be transmitted to r1 R2 as well as host to 2, host to 2. But here we have uh, IP destination IP address of this mission. So simply router 1 will reject that message as well as router 2 will, will discard that message. So only host to 2 will accept the message. Why? Because this is nothing but IP address of host to 2. So now host to 2 will provide ARP reply message. Host 2 will provide ARP reply message to host 1. Whereas this is nothing but unicast address. Whereas host 1 is transmitting broadcast address. Broadcasting, multicasting. Whereas host 2 is transmitting unicast. Why? Because the host 2 knows IP address of the host 1. This message already contains IP address. So host to two directly transmits ARP reply message to host one. So now let's see what does ARP reply message contain. ARP reply message contains IP address of the destination mission as well as physical address of the destination mission. So now host to two transmits this ARP reply message to the host one. So now host one knows physical address of host to two. Host one knows physical address of host to two. Now host 1 can transmit the corresponding message to host 2. Host 1 can transmit the corresponding data to host 2. Why? Because it has the IP address as well as physical address of the destination mission. So in this way with the help of ARP we can convert IP address to the physical address or MAC address.